Beaumont police responded to over 30 flooded vehicles today and conducted three rescues throughout the city. One of them at MLK and the Irving overpass. Stranded drivers and surprised locals stopped, looked, and took plenty of pictures of the flooded street. Fox 4's Lauren Hewitt reports many Beaumonters say they've never seen Irving Street flood like it did today. I'm Lauren Hewitt. Stepping out of Irving Street sounds like getting out of a pool. And what was once a roadway now looks more like a river. I've lived in Beaumont 28 years, and this is the worst I've seen this underpass in particular. My 19 plus years of living out here, is, I've seen the flood, but not this bad to where it's almost up to the, to the road right there. So something needs to change. I've never seen it quite this deep before. I've seen it maybe four or five feet, but not like this. And people took notice, many stopping to take pictures. One City of Beaumont employee took one of our cameras out with him to get a closer look. I'm coming back. It didn't take long for the water to reach his chest. In Beaumont, just know when they say a flash fluid warning, it is a flash fluid warning. Beaumont police say they've had at least one rescue today here at the overpass of MLK and Irving Street. You can see behind me the water has reached the top of the overpass and is at least 17 feet deep. I heard there was actually a, a Ford Mustang that was down there, uh, got too deep. Had to roll down the window and had to swim out. Police say two vehicles were under all that water. First responders rescued one of the drivers. The other was able to get out. We're under flash flood warnings and all that, and they know it's a low lying underpass and it's got float road may flood. If, if they did, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm hoping no one got injured. Police say no one was injured. Stay safe. You see anything you can't see the bottom of the ground, don't go through it. I wouldn't not advise it at all. Unless you got a boat, but other than that. It is, it is absolutely no no. Because it might not look like it, but the water is deep. In Beaumont, Lauren Hewitt, Fox 4 News. Officers say they'll have to wait until the water recedes tomorrow before retrieving the two vehicles stuck at Irving and MLK.